Hey there, Chad Bonzer here for Ohio University Libraries. Right now I've got several students who are researching a feasibility plan to open a company in whatever location they choose, in whatever industry sector they choose, as long as it's in the tourism or hospitality industry. And so we're going to use Simply Map to kind of determine where to locate their company and what kind of industry they might want to go in based upon where uh, the market drivers, what consumer interests are in that area. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I'm going to be looking at is perhaps opening like a ski uh, guide place or a mountain bike place or a kayak guide place because I'm an outdoors guy and it seems like me, if I can make my own company that might be a cool thing to look at. So I'm going to use Simply Map to determine where to best locate my company and to use any available data with Simply Map to kind of assign uh, what kind of company I'm going to do, what kind, what kind of industry sector, and um, use data to, to, to show consumer interest for that particular product or service in that area. So once again, we're using Simply Map to determine that, that information. So here you go. So when, it, when you first get to Simply Map, the first thing you probably want to do is create an account. Uh, use uh, whatever email you want to. I use my Ohio email. You don't have to do that, but um, when you do, it'll actually save what you're working on last time if you do create an account with them. So I'm going to sign in as me here. And if you've never created an account before or never used Simply Map before, it's going to load up to this default page where it's going to ask you to do a map or a standard report. I'm actually going to, just going to do neither, as a matter of fact. Um, what I want to do is I'm trying to figure out where to locate my ski guide business or ski outfitter business or whatever. Um, so what I want to do, is, first of all, is figure out what state is the best for me to go to. So I need a ranking. I want to rank states by percentage of people who are interested in going skiing when they're on vacation. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is do variables here. And there's a couple ways to do this. I can go down here and click on search. And it'll take us to the search screen here. Let's search for ski. And we'll see what we get here. Uh, we get 61 variables. We get women's apparel. We get lots of shopping stuff. We get people who bought a particular kind of uh, sunscreen. Uh, people who own uh, a cross-country ski exerciser. So you can see how sometimes searching can get you lots of different kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's do. Um, let's get rid of that and let's try S K I I N G. Let's do that. Let's do skiing. All right. Let's see. Um, percentage of people who watch skiing on TV, cable TV. Uh, percentage of people who um, did jet skiing. Here we go. Percentage of people who like to do snow skiing when they travel. Okay. If I want to use that, I can click on use this variable. And we can get rid of that. And then um, before we should have done that, though, let's go back to our search here. And we can show you where we can find this other data. So I'm going to go back in and search for skiing again. And if we scroll way down again and see percent of people who like to do snow skiing, you can see this is in the Simmons Local Travel Vacation Activities folder. So we want to find similar things like that. We can go under Variables here, and we can go Simmons Local, and we can go and we know that folder path. Here is Travel. Here is um, uh, Vacation Activities and then like to do and then here's all the other things that are available in there okay so lots of things we can choose from uh, within there what I'm going to do is go back to locations and we want to, we want to um, basically rank uh, by USA and we'll say use this location for USA and what this will do is we'll go in and we can close this out for us and here we have just USA if we want to analyze the data by states it will actually give us the listing of states in descending order of people who like to go skiing. And I'm going to change this to 50 so we can get all 50 states here. And so I'm going to choose a state. Um, let's see. So we got Utah, Alaska, Wyoming, Washington, lots of traditionally ski uh, states. I'm going to go down and choose a state I'm a little more familiar with. Uh, just north of um, Ohio here is Michigan, somewhere down here in the list. I'm ranking in 32 right there. I want to actually um, use that as my example for, for this, okay? So what I'm going to do is, uh, now that we know I'm going to use Michigan, and I'm, traditionally you, you probably wouldn't use the number 32 state here, but just as an example, you can kind of see how this works here. Uh, so now I'm going to do is go back under locations and uh, change this to states, and we'll use Michigan as, a, as our example here, and use this location and close this out. 
And once again, we're going to change this. We can do cities. Let's do cities. All right. So here is percent of people who like to uh, do snow skiing and snowboarding uh, when they travel. Okay. Which is a pretty good list here. Now, lots of these are probably going to be pretty small locations here. All right. So there's a couple ways we can we can get bigger cities in our list. One of which is use this data filter. And I'm going to do. Um, I've already created some filters here. I just want to show you how this works. I'm going to create new filter, and we'll just call this. Um, we're going to select our variable here, and if we scroll down, um, if you've never used this before, you'll probably have one in here for population, and I've got one under my favorites here for population number of people, and I'm going to say population. You give it a list, list little histogram here that says you can't go any lower than 97, can't go any higher than 8.2 million. I just want cities that are better, bigger than 50,000. Okay, and we'll call this uh, city, this filter, uh, Chad Big Bigger Cities, and we'll just save that. And so what it'll do is go through and apply that for us. It's going to strike out all the little bitty small towns there, all right? Because these little small towns might have had like 500 people in them, and 100 of them might have been skiers, and so there you get 25 percent, right? Um, that math's not right, my apologies, but you, know, you get the idea there. Um, what we can do is, let's go up under display options um, and filter locations and hide those filter locations here. So now we're getting some bigger towns, Troy, Michigan, Ann Arbor, Michigan, Rochester Hills, Farmington Hills, places like that. Now what I'm going to do is add these to my favorites. Because what I want to do is create another list with these cities. So I'm going to say these are going to be my top five picks for my cities. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is go over here and do a standard report with all those cities. Now if we'd lost this tab, all you can do is go up here and just do new, new tab report and just call it a standard report. That's all we're going to do here. Uh, we're going to go under locations and we just clicked on our favorites here. And we're just going to use these locations in our list here. And this is just a way to help us to not have to go back and remember where these cities are. And we'll close that out. And then we'll go under variables. And I'm going to go back under um, our recent here. We can see we've done, um, uh, there's our snowboarding. Let's use that variable. Um, if you want to, you can go back under um, variables here again. And if you wanted to see what other kind of travel activities people in that area like to do, we can go back under here and then do uh, travel. And then here's your um, uh, vacation activities, vacation activities like to do. If you wanted to, you can actually just click on use all variables. And we're going to have a, it's going to generate a big old list uh, for all those cities, uh, for all those variables that we, that we have there. And so uh, here's our big list here. So pretty neat. Uh, if you want to, you can go back in. If you want to know, let's say you've been using Media Mark Reporter or something like that that gives you demographics, or Mintel that gives you demographics of people who like to do certain activities, uh, and you want to know how many people of that age group are in that city or town, you can go back under variables here, for example, and there's all kinds of like census data as well. So if you're looking at things like the, uh, the age of the population, um, so here we have... Uh, uh, total age group, so percent of people in a particular age group. I'll just use, you know, uh, a couple of these here. Uh, so you read somewhere that people in percent in, in an age 25 to 34 year old age group really like to go snow skiing and mountain biking. You want to find out how many people in that age category live in that location, right? So you can use uh, Simply Map uh, to do that sort of thing as well. So again, here we have um, our, um, you know, all kinds of data, whatever we want to do. Uh, with that. And if we want to, you can know, go up here and save this as an Excel file and download that way. The last thing you can do in here is actually create a map. And we're going to do our variables again here. Uh, we can go under um, our uh, recent, since we've, we've found the, the snow skiing and snowboarding. And so here's our percent of people. Oh, I got everything that under the under the category there, that's all right. So let's say what you want to look at percent of people who like to do, um, in this case, we'll do water sports. We'll use this variable. Okay, we'll close that out. It's going to center on the center of the U.S., somewhere in Iowa there for us. We can go back under locations, do recent, and uh, we'll use, I've used Michigan before, so we'll use this location. All right, and we will close that out. And it's going to drill down into um, Michigan there for us. 
okay, and we can see um, uh, by uh, these percentages, percentage people like to do water sports by county. If you want to know what those county names are, you can go up here and show your map labels, um, that sort of thing. So you can kind of really kind of drill down and look at that kind of stuff. If you want to, you can go back under here and, and edit your legend and change these colors to whatever kind of crazy color you want to um, and really, really kind of make a mess of, of the color scheme if you like and um, probably not fitting that we're looking at red in Michigan, so we might want to change that to uh, uh, a better, potentially a better color maybe for them that's not quite so Ohio State. Um, but anyway, so you can kind of see how, how that works to identify um, places by location where you might want to put your, in this case, a water sports shop, right? So people up here evidently like to go skiing quite a bit. Uh, so you can kind of um, use that data to kind of pinpoint potential locations uh, of where you might put your, your, um, your, uh, your water ski outfitter guide tour company. Hope this video helped you better understand how to use Simply Map to, to try to uh, look at your market and location for your potential company or industry. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. We'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.